Now that New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has revealed to the world that he had weight loss surgery earlier this year, there are big questions about how he managed to keep it a secret for as long as he did. Of course, he's saying he did it just to be around for his wife and kids. ABC's Paula Ferris has the story. Chris Christie is wasting no time devouring his critics. Your opinions on this issue really don't matter a whole hell of a lot to me. The no-holds-barred New Jersey governor, known for his healthy appetite and fiery rhetoric. In terms of keeping it secret, it's nobody else's business. Sounded off Tuesday at reporters who questioned why he kept his lap band weight loss surgery top secret, even from his lieutenant governor. It's like asking if I decide to take a nap on Saturday afternoon. Do I call her and say, hey, Kim, I'm taking a nap for 40 minutes. You know, you're in charge. I mean, ridiculous. The governor, who was up for re-election in the fall, said he got the idea of surgery from New York Jets coach Rex Ryan, who had the same operation. Christie's doctor met him at undisclosed locations, and on the day of that surgery, he even used a fake name. I'm sure you're very curious about that. I'm not telling you the name I used to check into the hospital. In lap band surgery, doctors place a silicone band around the stomach to reduce its size, limiting the amount of food the stomach can hold. Sources say since February, Christie has lost 30 pounds. The governor, once the captain of his high school baseball team, says his growing waistline has been weighing heavily on him for close to 30 years, becoming the subject of endless jokes. Christy hopes to visit the site of the Last Supper, you know, see if there's any leftovers. No. Bring it, fat boy! Sources tell ABC News he's long been a fad dieter, even has a personal trainer. I do whatever he tells me to do. <laughs> now, nearly three months in, he says he's hoping the scales finally tip in his favor. But he isn't tipping his hand as to how much he plans to shed. It's not anybody else's business but mine. And so, um, you know, that's, that's the reason I made the decision that I did. And that's all. And the governor was roasted last night. One reporter joked, quote, I guess Springsteen's no longer the band closest to the governor's heart.